Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asha, like Usher, but with an A. Don't forget it. And today... What on earth was I gonna say? Today, I just wanted to get on here and give y'all a little story time of one of the best moments of my entire life. A moment that I will never forget ever because Beyonce held my hand and Blue Makers and she also put me on her website <laughs> also do you like the fit? it's Ivy Park I'm a bit scared that this is going to be too noisy for the video but we'll see but yeah speaking of Ivy Park Ice Park if you've not seen my latest video just check it out there I did like a big haul of all the Icy Park goodies I spent like $2,500 on Ivy Park and I also did a giveaway which I'm going to announce the winner of today at the end of this video so if you want to see if you have won stick around wait to the end and we will see if you're a winner baby <laughs> so good luck to everyone in that is involved with that and yeah let's get into the story time so let me paint the picture for you it was 2013. It was May. Not much. <laughs> it was the Mrs. Cat World Tour show. And the time would come around again. And I was like, Mom, please. I'm older now. Can I please don't see me on thing? I'm gonna go with my friends. My friend's mom's gonna drive us to Manchester. And like, blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, yes, baby, go live your best life. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go see Beyonce. And so do you know, that was like the whole bow down era. And do you remember that picture she posted with her and all her trophies as a kid? And she put like bow down over it. I got a picture of myself as a kid chilling and I put bow down on it and then I printed it out and put a t-shirt because I just creative. <laughs> so I wore that to the concert. I was so excited, but I had to go to school that day. And I remember being in school and I can't remember what happened, but we were like late. And I don't, sorry, I'm late though, I feel like I lie. I'm fashionably late though, I like rock up and I'm like, <laughs> My friend had already been to see Beyonce a billion times. I know, I'm jealous. Um, with her mum. So, we're on, we're on the motorway driving to Manchester and I'm just literally like, oh, I can't believe this. We took selfies, we did all this, blah, 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 blah. Like, oh my God, we're going to see Beyonce. We get to the um, arena and we're like, oh, the gates might not be open yet, so we might be okay. But we literally drove past the arena and I could see people going in and I was like, oh, the gates what does that mean? Me never been to a concert before. I was just like, oh my god. What are we gonna do? <laughs> like what happens now? We park up, run inside, blah 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 blah. So um, my friend's mum, she kinda sticks to the side because she didn't want to get all up in the crowds of us, which is fair. Um but I was like, I'm going to see Beyonce, so I'ma get all up in there. So me and my two friends, we managed to get to the because we just had general admission tickets. We managed to get to the front bars of the B stage. So to get to the stage, that was full. There was no way we were getting, getting to the front. So we were at the bars holding on at the B stage where she flew over in her sparkly um, one piece. And we're there, minor own business. And there's a guy that works for Beyonce and for the life of me, I can't remember his name. And he was walking around the beast, like inside the beast stage. And he was stopping at people. And I was like, oh my God, what's that guy doing? Um, and then there was these girls next to us that were, in my opinion, I'm gonna call them crazy in love fans. Do you know what I mean? Like they're no crazy in love, single ladies, and that's it. They were those kind of fans. <laughs> From, a, from my first opinions. I don't know, there might, there might have been beehive, like superstars, I don't know. But in my opinion, there weren't. So the guy went up to them and get, upgraded them to like the bee pit. Like he gave them wristbands and they got out of the queue, got out of the area we were in next to us, went to the security guard at the back of the bee pit and went inside. And like sat down with like, I'm sure there was like football players and stuff in there, like with celebrities, because that's where all the celebrities buy their tickets, because they're like, ugh, poor people. So they were all sat in there and we were like, wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> like, that is where we need to be. So we spent the rest of that time waiting for, um, I don't even think there was a, 
a, like an opening act. Or if there was, we were too busy trying to get in the B pit. We did not, in the B stage, sorry. We did not even acknowledge the fact that there were like, you know, other people. So finally the guy came around again and came to us and was like, he said something like, only like real fans are, only true fans are, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, listen. I basically, I felt like I grabbed him by the collar. I didn't, but in my mind, that's what I was literally like, listen. We are humongous fans. I was like, look at the time I've taken to put into this t-shirt. I printed this on a t-shirt, I photoshopped it myself in school when I was supposed to do my work. And then finally, after, I kid you not, it was such a long time since the girls went in and he let other people in as well. It was such a long, long time. And then he finally was like, oh, okay, go on then. And he gave us response. He was like, how many of it, there was like, I was like, three, there's three of us. Sorry to my friends, mum, I literally completely forgot. Because I was, you know, we were just like, in the hype of it. So we left our place at the um, B stage and like, obviously it filled by people that were behind us, so we couldn't go back. Now this is where the story starts to get mad. So we go around to the security guard that's stopping people from going into the B stage and we showed him the wristbands and I was acting all cool I was like it's okay we B stage we VIP excuse me and he was just like oh. no and I was like no what do you mean no <laughs> like my man's just giving us these wristbands can you not see we should be in there with those girls over there they ain't even fans you know what if you're gonna let kick anyone out it's them not us because i was getting mad at that point because i was like this is my first beyonce concert i was so close to the front regardless because i was at the railings at the b stage um i've now lost my place because the guy gave me a wristband and now you're not letting me into the place with my wristband like what he was actually quite rude i don't know who he was but he was just like nope and I was like, are you not gonna elaborate or anything, blah, blah, blah. And me and my friends at this point were literally like, oh my God, what is going on? I can't believe we've just lost our place. What do we do? We're like, are we gonna have to fight? We're gonna have to sneak in? That's a raven type of thing, dropping from the ceiling. You know what, are we gonna have to go undercover? I'm gonna have to dress up as uh, Jay-Z? Like, wh like, what is it? I need, we need to get into this thing. And then the guy that gave us the wristbands, he came up to us and he's like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, don't you stop, well, I didn't say this, but in my head I was like, don't you even start with me because I wanted to be in the B stage. I came to the B stage, B pit, I keep saying it. What is it called? No, B stage. I came to the B stage because you gave us the wristbands to come to the B stage and now you said we can't go to the B stage. Like, what are you talking about? Like, are you dumb? Like, you've been serious? I was literally like, on edge. That was like, in my mind. And then realized it was like, he won't let us in, like. <laughs> You gave us the wristbands and like, I just, I just want to go. Like, he was just like, no, no, no. Those wristbands out front there, come with me. And we were like, well, where are we going? Like, we're going backstage. <laughs> we're going to be like, where are you taking it? But he took us to the back of the arena. So he takes us to the back, to like where the, the back seated audience are. And I was like, guys, have we literally just been scammed? And then he starts to take us like around the back. And I was like, what's, like, where are we going? Like, are we going to a box or something? Do you know, like the boxes that people can book out in arenas? Like, who cares? I don't want to be in a box. That's miles away from Beyonce. And then the lights turn off. And I was like, oh my God, we wasted all this time. The lights turned off, like the concert's about to start. And he's like, come on, come on, come on. So he takes us around the back, basically. And he takes us down. And we're starting to now go like towards the stage. And I was like, oh, we're going backstage. We're going backstage we are going backstage like beyonce and i are now family we're going backstage by this time now we're going down the side bit the music's the um do you know the and the dry ice comes out the stage because she's about to do beyonce about to come out pop out the fall and do run the world that was happening and we were like oh my god what is going on what's going on what's going on and then my man takes us to the b pit that's inside the stage and just lets us in and so we're like inside the stage like and I'm, we managed to get to the front of that I don't know how I don't know how the people in that B pit that paid for it didn't care but we went the front I don't know how but I was at the front like there were these stairs from the stage it was like two steps and then the B pit there and like I could rest on those stairs type of thing it was like a real thing but I could like touch them if you get what I mean. I was literally just in shock. I like I couldn't believe it. This is my first ever ever concert and I'm literally 
I can touch the stage in which Beyonce stands, do you know what I mean? Like, that's wild. And then Beyonce pops out the floor. And we're like, ah! And it was the best concert ever. I'm gonna hopefully scour the internet because when I first, first, first came back from the concert, there was a clip of this on YouTube. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find it and I'm gonna insert it. But if I can't find it, y'all just have to believe me. I'm so sorry. I'm not lying, but you just have to believe me. Beyonce is doing crazy in love. And she, you know, she does the first um, verse facing the audience. So we could just see like the side. But then when it comes to like the, can we look at the crazy uh, uh, the, Like the, the bridgy, bridgy chorus a bit. She like walks to the side. So she walked over to our side and she goes like this. And I'm, I don't know, and maybe it's because she saw my t-shirt or my beautiful face, I don't know what it is. She, um, clearly, and because obviously we're twins, like, we look the same. Beyonce, 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 you know, what you, you know who you really look like? You look like Luther Van Drop. She must have just been radiated. <laughs> so she looks at me and she blows me, she goes like, and blows me a kiss but because she does that I remember the people around me like oh my god that was to you and I was like <laughs> literally dead ass like I was just like <laughs> she just blew me a kiss and she saw me do that so she's like that she blows me a kiss she sees me do that she sees me do that as she's turning around she turns back and goes <laughs> did you did you just hear what I said Beyonce Giselle's no Carter laughed at me <laughs> and honestly, you'd think that I'd be embarrassed, but like, I was literally, it was the best moment of my life. Like, Beyonce, if you want to laugh at me every day of your life, do it. It was the most amazing thing ever. So then, she comes down to do what song was it she was singing i've got a video of this so i'll definitely insert this but i might have to change the music because well youtube can't, i don't care i'm gonna put it in so she comes down and she sits on those steps i was talking about and she's singing why don't you love me you can just watch it <laughs> This part when she started shaking her hair, I was so close to her, her hair was like hitting me. I was literally like, oh god. <laughs> this is, I think, the only video I took on my phone. For the rest of the concert, the one point I dropped my phone, and the other points I was like, what's a phone? Like, my phone I literally was, I think that's one good thing about the concert. I was just so in the moment, I was literally like, who cares about the phone? And then at the end, she sung Halo, and I was like, if this woman gives me this mic for me to have to do one of the. Like, I'm gonna do it, but like, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. So then, lucky in the back of my head, I was like, <clears throat> la 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 la. I was like, <clears throat> you know, arpeggio in and all that. I was like, let me get my voice ready. <laughs> Just in case, Bush didn't give me the match. She was like, <laughs> I did that once, it ain't happening again. So she sits down and she just puts her hand out, and I'm like, So yeah, that is basically how Beyonce held my hand, blew me a kiss, and laughed at me. So she stands up after she's done a little bit to go back up the stairs to like carry on, I guess to go over to the other side and do the same thing to them or, or whatever. But there was this one girl, and I remember she grabbed, as Beyonce was walking away, like the back of her, her outfit, and Beyonce kind of stumbled a bit. And I was just like, I wasn't. So that happened, and then I kid you not, from the, I mean, it was basically the end of the show, but Beyonce did not come back to our side again. She did go back to the other side a few times, but she did not come back to our side, and I'm not joking, it was that girl's fault. Maybe it was mine, I should have my hand, she was like, that boy's crazy, I ain't going back over there. But you know what, I didn't care because I was just looking at my hand like, I've held Beyonce's hand. And I remember walking back out the concert, so going back up the side where all the people were sat, and I remember walking like this, like, she held my hand. Yeah. 
And all the people at the front were like, oh my God, can I touch your hand? And I'm like, oh, touch me. This hand is one of God now. Like, you can't, you can't. That is basically my story time. I'm also on Beyonce's website. I'll leave a screenshot of me on Beyonce's website. That one's more embarrassing. But basically when I go to Beyonce concerts, I'm one of those people that don't dress up. I wear a hoodie and just like, because I'm, I don't drink. I don't do any of that stuff. I literally get my place in the front of the queue and stay there. So since then, I've, I've seen Beyonce six times, I think, and I've always been at the front. And I don't care what anyone says, I'm convinced she recognizes me. <laughs> it's probably in my head, but it is what it is. And basically, that is the story time. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Um, smash that like button, as the people be saying. Subscribe to my channel, and comment down below any experiences you've had with Beyonce, or any experiences you've had with celebrities. That could be more fun. Because I don't know if as many of you as blessed as me to the uh, see me to be able to touch Beyonce's hand, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. And right, let's get into this giveaway. Okay, so I've got everyone's name again on this wheel. Good luck to everyone that entered. I'm screen recording, so y'all can't call me a liar. Let's go. Who is it? Who is it? Jalen, Jalen Forward. So congrats to you, Jalen. You are the giveaway winner. So congratulations um, to everyone else that entered. Thank you so much for entering, showing me love, all the positivity. Again, loved it. Jalen, if you want to slide on into my DMs on Instagram, we will sort out the me sending you the, where is it? Where did I put it? Oh my God. Oh, here it is. The hat and the um, face mask. Let me put that somewhere where I ain't gonna forget. I will start out getting that sent out to you ASAP. Yeah, for everyone that did enter, thank you so much. Um, it's really cute doing these giveaways. I really, really like them. I need to do more. I've got so many other stuff to give away. I'm just being very lazy. But I'm trying to keep on top of it now. So yes, if you didn't win this one, defo, stay tuned because I'm gonna keep giving things away because it's fun. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll wave at you with the hand Beyonce touched. Ciao. <laughs>